Hi, on my last video, I was talking about Sony files, doing a workflow with Final Cut and DaVinci Pro. And you might have seen that in one of my attempts to import through Final Cut, a Sony A1 media, it was coming with dropped frames and horrible, well, first in the time code starting in zero and in drop frames, which is not the case either way. Um, I hadn't seen that before, but the thing that was the main part of the video was the time code was not correct. And we are looking at workflows in, to make that import come correctly. Now, a friend of mine from Canada, Andre Fernandez, sent me an email, very nice email, uh, sh uh, telling me about a little bit of his experimentations with Sony cameras. And he had seen the same problem, including with the Sony A1, and he had found a fix. And I'm here to share with you that fix that he so grac uh, graciously <laughs> Uh, allowed me to share with you guys. So let's take a look at the computer. We have the Sony A1 SD card that has the M4 root folder and then it has the clip folder where my videos are. Uh, just to refresh, I'm going to just drag and drop them here and we're gonna see no time code. Okay, not good. Let's try now to do the import through Final Cut. Sony A1 SD and finding those two clips here and doing copy again no good so i will delete that now the fix for this uh, as he was explaining to me is in other sd cards or in some sd cards sony will write this folder structure is slightly different than it is on the sony a1 with the uh, CF, uh, CF Express card. What Final Cut is probably expecting here is to see that other folder structure and because of that is not looking to the correct metadata to do the re-wrap. What's the fix? Like look here we have the Sony A1 card and then M4 root and then clip. The fix is to basically have a private folder that then contains the M4 root and then the rest of the folder. So basically the only thing that you do here is to create the private folder and then drag and drop the M4 root into it. And to prove that that actually works, I will import on Final Cut. But before I do that, I will still show you here that if I try to drag and drop, it still comes with timecode zero. Now let's try to the import dialog and the original fixed. Let's open that. We see the clips there. And then we import and voila, now we have the time code there. So this is pretty impressive. And then of course, the, in this case here, Final Cut is doing the rewrap. So it's going to write a new MOV. Uh, it is just rewrap, it's not changing much, but is writing that time code in the right place. So even if I open here uh, on QuickTime, there it is. Sorry about the shot of me standing in front of the camera. Um, we have the time code. Thank you so much, Andre, for sending me that email and pointing me to this. Uh, I think here, of course, if you are okay with Final Cut organizing your media for you, putting those folders for you, um, yeah, I think this is totally fine, importing through Final Cut. I would still go through the Edit Ready route because that one I can rename the files the way I want without needing to worry about any of the folder structure. I can also, um, yeah, I can rename and I can then organize in whatever folder structure I want a little bit easier than what Final Cut is doing. Uh, but it's, this is totally valid. I mean, if you're doing this and you need to do fast and it's okay for you to have that folder structure from Final Cut, well, that's amazing. Uh, so again, thanks, Andre Fernandez from Canada. Uh, I will leave his website here for you to check out his work. And uh, thank you again and see you in the next one.